Hello, my name is Drew and I'm from the St. Albert Public Library and I'd like to tell you about some great books for kids who just finished grade six. The first book is called The Next Great Polly Fink by Ali Benjamin. Caitlin is starting a new school and she's still trying to figure her way around. There's only 10 kids in her class and she's been assigned to be a kindergarten mentor even though she doesn't know anything about the school. But the kids keep telling her about a kid named Polly Fink. Now, Polly Fink was the funniest, coolest, weirdest kid ever. He was also a prank master who would even prank the principal. But the problem is, Polly never came back after summer vacation. So now, Caitlin's classmates have asked her to be the judge on a reality-style game show that will help choose the next Polly Fink. Great story if you love funny, funny things, but also stories that involve looking back on your past and uh, seeing the mistakes you've made. Our second story is called The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. Now this one's a real mystery. It's about three kids, Chess, Emma, and Finn. They live a very normal life with their mom. Their dad died a few years ago, so it's just the four of them. One day Chess finds his mom crying while reading the newspaper. And a little while later, he hears a really strange phone call. When he finally looks at the paper, he sees something even weirder. Three kids have been kidnapped, which is bad enough, but these three kids have the same name and the same ages as Finn, Emma, and Chess. Something strange, but their mom has to leave for work. And after she's left, they find a note from her that says she'll probably never see them again. Well, the kids can't give up on their mom, so they immediately start looking at all the clues she's left behind to try and track her down and figure out how to help these three kids who've been kidnapped. It's a very cool story with a lot of tense moments. The last book I want to talk about is The Absence of Sparrows by Kurt Kirkmeyer. Now this one's a bit of a creepy story. It's about a kid named Ben who's just trying to have a nice summer bird watching and enjoying the weather. One day he's up on, the, on his roof when he sees a huge black cloud coming in and he thinks a storm's coming. So everyone gets inside to wait the storm out, but the storm never comes. But one thing does happen. One of the residents of his town is turned into a black glass statue. No one knows what's going on, and it's happening all over the world. The only thing that's connected to are these big black clouds in the sky. Now Ben's brother is convinced that if you break the statues, you'll set the people free. There's a voice on the radio that's been telling people to do that. But Ben is convinced that the solution lies with the sparrows that have disappeared from his town. He thinks that the sparrows come back, everything will be going back to normal. So if you like strange, creepy stories with a lot of questions, I think you'll like The Absence of Sparrows. Now these are three great titles, but there's actually four more I want to share with you, and I'm going to put them on the screen right now. These seven titles are all available at the library or using ebook or e-audiobook resources at the library. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, if you have any more questions, or if you'd like more recommendations, please contact us. We can send you an email or even create a personalized book list that's just for you. Have a great summer and keep reading. Bye.